Hey guys, what's up? Philip J. Fly here. I'm pretty proud of this. If you guys see me in game, say hi. If I don't respond, shoot a machine gun at me. I usually have my chat turned off. Uh, but today's video, we are going to be continuing our campaign on that epic user made mission. A uh, link to that will be in the description below. But today's video, or instead of using the Leo, we're going to be using the T90 to complete the other two objectives. I've got to play something modern today from the small little taste of modern-ish tanks from the dev server 1.71, the MBT-70, the KPZ-70, the T-64. I have to fill the void until the new patch drops. And that's what we're going to be doing today. A little update. Actually, we'll just get into it right now. I, 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 don't, blah, 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 I don't want to be talking with this cancerous plane in front of me for too much longer. We're going to use your missions, Desert Mega Super T90. Okay, I think this is it. So just a little update on the whole hailstorm, house damage, fly, apocalyptic vid. Everything's fine. Uh, I have homeowner's insurance and it's going very, very smoothly. Oh my God, T90. You look so derpy, but so menacing at the same time. It was hail damage. So it's a pretty common thing to have under a home Ins or homeowner's insurance policy. It's not like my septic tank blew out. You know, I my house flooded and I don't have flood insurance. I couldn't imagine that. Like, especially in Houston, like a lot of those people can't even get flood insurance. They're not allowed to. Only you, some houses or in some areas, you can't just go buy flood insurance. They won't give it to you because maybe your area is so su uh, susceptible the flooding that they're like no it's it's not worth we we won't cover that i can't imagine that in my situation my situation right now is so it's maybe half a percent of what people are dealing with in um houston or just texas in general i'm perfectly okay i'm kind of disappointed that no one set up a gofundme page for me i mean shit's rough out here boys just because this is the internet that was a joke Cool. Now I will have to pay a deductible, but it's it's definitely worth it for the damages. I have about fifteen thousand damage or fifteen thousand dollars in damages. Um, that's we don't even have my adjuster. So let me tell you the whole story. I went nationwide. The storm happened on Friday night. Saturday nationwide uh, got. Disaster One, which is like a first responding company out here, and they patched the windows, they put a dehumidifier, they put fans, they pulled up the floorboard or the, the rug, so the wood underneath the rug and the padding wouldn't get, you know, moldy or damp or it wouldn't get soggy. Tons of water was um, dehumidified from the room. And then on Tuesday, the adjuster came out and looked at a lot of stuff and um, I'm going to get a second opinion through another company as well as using one of Nationwide's preferred companies. The reason why I have multiple companies coming out here to check out the damages just so I get a nice rounded figure so I know Nationwide is doing their part and um, the company that's going to be working doing the repairs, the general contractor, is doing their part. So he came out, he assessed the damage was 15,000 damage or why, 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 why can't I say dollars? $15,000 of damages, and that's not with the roof being checked out. Now, my roof on my house, by the way, we are going to Delta to fire um, long range across the river. We're going to be using some ATGMs. We haven't even checked out my roof yet. We're, we're going to get a um, roof guy up here, and so he can look at it. Even though my roof's very sharply angled, we want to make sure that um, there's no damages. You know, superficially, it might look fine, but underneath, maybe the shingles have taken a beating. They are hail rated shingles and padding on it, but still it's always good to um, get your money's worth and get and get what is due to you. But everything is fine guys. Um, again, thank you for the support. Even if it was a simple get wrecked XD XD laugh out loud timestamp something, it still, you know, made me laugh. It um, helped me through it. So I, I appreciate that guys. And luckily my house is made out of hardy plank which is a much, much, much stronger material than plastic vinyl or siding. So my house didn't really take too much damage and the siding of my house just recoiled it because it is a much better material. So that doesn't have to be replaced. So all that needs to be replaced on the house is windows, 
Um, gutters, pillars, garage door, garage window, and then the roof is still be to de uh, determined. But it shouldn't take more than maybe two weeks to get at, get over this. We are about to be at Delta Optional. Long range, destroy enemy positions on the other coast. Let's go ahead and... Is this a Super T90? Is is that what that the whole menu was about? Like it was T90 Mega Super. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, so just a more advanced T90. We can all live with this. Now I believe we're going to be engaging targets over here to our right. Don't be enemies. These. Oh, you motherfucker. Okay, Tango down. PT-76 dead. This is so far away. Okay, we got some trucks here. 108. Imagine if War Thunder had maps this big. Look how long that missile takes to get there. Like, I, what's the biggest map in War Thunder now? Just in realistic battle. I don't play sim. I, I know a lot of the sim maps. Is this... This looks like a Flak 88. Um, the sim maps are huge compared to the RB or, or just much bigger. I think the biggest RB map has to be... Kursk? Like, what do you guys think? Should we have much, much bigger maps for these modern tanks? Because there's there's a point. I feel like a lot of people um, have one view and a lot of people have the other view is that people want bigger maps for more realistic gameplay, but that more realistic gameplay, jeez, we just like hit an ammo depot right there. But bigger maps, it just, not everybody wants to drive for eight minutes to get killed or drive eight minutes to kill everything and win the game you know it, it, it's a coin flip sometimes but let me know the, but let me know guys in the comments below what you guys think okay this should be it right here we've got maybe another we've taken out this guy might still be alive here this should be the last one yeah, th this guy's still alive. He he just fired an artillery piece at me or around. There we go. Tango down. Now we're able to fire. I mean, this is a mega super. Dude, guys, I, I could have fired like 19 rockets in a row here. Wait a second. Oh, Jesus H. Christ. You can't miss with this thing now. Can we fly? No. You guys see that? You see this little sand dune? We're gonna try to line up for that perfectly. Hang on. And we're gonna try to make the T-90 fly. Fire, 9,000. 150? Oh my gosh, this is gonna be faster than my ZSU. 250? 300 kilometers? 400 kilo. Oh. <gasps> we might be able to break the sound barrier. That looks extremely flat. We hit 400 kilometers an hour last attempt. Uh, I promise we'll go do the last part of this mission. I just I just got to see if we can break the land speed record for a tank. Uh, we were shooting down last time, and we weren't really that stable. Let's go ahead and point our barrel up so it pushes us into the ground so bumps and other um, obstacles don't throw our groove off. We're in neutral. 
Here we go. We're gonna try to hit at least 500, hopefully 2,000. Okay, we're a little bit, we're drifting a little bit. 200. Stay put. Yes. Hold fire. Oh God. Oh God, it's gonna hurt. It's okay. Just, 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 just break it out. Ooh, this looks ex. Okay, this looks much, much more flat than our um, other testing area. We have about maybe two or three kilometers here to try. So I'm gonna boost myself up to this side near the coast and then we'll um, do, do the full test once we're set up. Willing to go where no Russian has gone before. Let's line this up perfectly. Gun, I don't know. It didn't really work too well last time. A little more to the right. Just put it in the center. Nice and center. Here we go. Three, two, one. Hundred. This is looking really promising. Oh, oh my gosh. That was 600 kilometers now. We are finally at objective Charlie. We're just hanging out with our bu I was going to give him the benefit of the doubt right there. We have an enemy over here as well. I don't want to use that technology I have against the enemies because I know this is a third world scenario. Um, but if, if they do shoot me, I, I will use the mega uh, super duper autoloader. But our, at sea, we have to find and destroy all enemy AA positions. They might be down in this defilade here that was defended by this T-54. Should be right on their number here. Oh, yep. Here, here we go. We got a lot. Only three here? There's no one even in these tanks. That's probably the fastest firing machine gun in the world. And last but not least. Maybe one over to the right. Whoa, is this it? Dirt front. Nice bounce. We still haven't won Charlie yet. I can't find the last anti-air fellers. This has to be him, right? What the fuck, dude? I can't find the last guy to save my life. I don't know where he's at. He, he's, he's hiding somewhere sneaky breaky, but I, but I definitely think we cleaned out a sufficiently. Um, just some information about videos coming out in the future. The M3 Lee Loving the Unloved video will be out this week. And um, hopefully more of the new patch once it's released. Guys, hope you have enjoyed this video. Until next time, peace out.